On the day we remember John F. Kennedy's death, people in our region get a chance to see artifacts from the first family up close and personal. 13 News anchor Aaron Wright takes us inside a museum that offers a unique look back at that historic day. Anybody that was alive can remember that day. It was, a, it was one of those things that wasn't supposed to happen. So forever in your mind, you remember where you were. Wayne Lensing owns historic auto attractions. This museum to famous movie and TV cars is also home to the largest collection of Kennedy era items in the world. For Lensing, it's not just about Kennedy's death, but remembering a time when the first family was just like everyone else. Jackie had such nice clothes on. Everybody wanted to dress like her. Gosh, here's some uh, very elegant shoes that Jackie had. There's some of her gloves there and one of her purses. Kennedy's assassination does have a place in the museum. The flag that rested on top of Kennedy's coffin while he lie in state is on display, and so is the veil Jackie Kennedy wore to her husband's funeral. Now, one piece of Kennedy memorabilia everyone knows is this 56 Cadillac Secret Service car. Secret Service agent Clint Hill on the running board sees President Kennedy get shot and reacts by running up to the car and helping First Lady Jackie Kennedy back into the car. There's even a portion of the fence surrounding the grassy knoll. Um, you know, a lot of people write on the, on, the si on the fence. If you can see, one of them said it was Johnson. There's different people. Everybody's got their theories of... Uh, what all happened to uh, Kennedy that day? One thing that isn't in question is the arrest of Lee Harvey Oswald, the man accused of killing President Kennedy. He and Jack Ruby, the man who shot Oswald, are remembered here. When people visit the museum so they can uh, feel like that day in Dallas, to get that, uh, to draw them in so they can relive that day. They not only relive the assassination, the good times. For your news leader, Aaron Wright, 13 News. And if you would like to see that museum yourself, you are running out of time. It closes for the season November 30th.